Hello friends, this video on P-Block part 52 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And compound is hydrogen chloride. This is my hydrogen chloride. It looks uh, like a mm, transparent liquid. And this was prepared in 1648, long time back. Okay, by Glauber. And this was prepared by Glauber by heating NaCl and my concentrated sulfuric acid. So he used this and he prepared hydrogen chloride in 1648. But it was Davy in 1810. This was Glauber. But it was Davy, this guy Davy in 1810. He showed that it is a compound of hydrogen and chlorine. So they knew there is a acid which has different property, but and prepared in 1648, but they didn't know what is the chemical composition of this compound, right? Uh, it had different properties, so it was classified as a chemical in 1648 itself, but they didn't know that it has hydrogen and chlorine. So it was Davy in 1810, which found that it has hydrogen and chlorine. So we talk about the preparation in the lab. We use NaCl and sulfuric acid, again concentrated, and we heat this you get what? NaHSO4 plus HCl and this NaHSO4 what you get you again hit this NaHSO4 with NaCl more NaCl you get Na2SO4 and HCl again these are my HCl form this has at 420 Kelvin and this happened as 823 Kelvin Okay, now this HCl gas which we have gone, it can be dried up by passing it through H2SO4. We have seen that sulfuric acid is a very, very good uh, drying agent. It uh, sucks up all the water molecule. So you can dry this hydrochloric acid gas. We talk about the properties of this hydrochloric. So it is actually a, a gas you can say, but you can actually liquefy it also. It is a, a colorless pungent smelling gas. See, there's no color, so it's a colorless pungent smell. Right? Even if it is a liquid, it is a volatile. You can actually liquefy this, as I told. You can easily liquefy this colorless liquid. The boiling point is pretty less, 189 Kelvin. It you can freeze this to form white crystalline solid. If you freeze this, freeze it will form white crystalline solid this is extremely water soluble it is extremely water soluble what you see here is hcl and water because this hcl is typically gas and you react with water it forms this h3o plus hydronium ions and chlorine ions it's a very strong acid uh, the K is 10 to the power 7 is a very very strong acid. It almost dissociates completely. Right? In aqueous solution, it is called hydrochloric acid. Again, okay? this is aqueous solution is called hydrochloric acid. Okay. HCl actually you call it hydrogen chloride. But this one in water, it called hydrochloric acid. Please note the difference. When you say hydrochloric acid, you have water molecule also. Hydro is the water. Hydrochloric acid. You say HCl is hydrogen chloride. Okay, there's a difference. Hydrogen chloride is a colorless pungent smelling gas. Okay. When you mix this with water, you get this reaction. You get hydronium ions and chlorine ions. And this is called hydrochloric acid. There is a difference between hydrogen chloride and hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen chloride is my gas at STP. Colorless pungent smelling gas. But hydrochloric acid is nothing but my hydrogen chloride in water. And that is liquid in aqueous form. Okay. And this hydrochlor hydrogen chloride, they react with ammonia to give white fumes. 
So ammonia, it will react with HCl to form white fumes NH4Cl. Okay. One good property of uh, hydrogen chloride HCl is you can form aqua regia. And aqua regia is very strong. It can actually dissolve noble metals, gold, platinum. Aqua regia is nothing but three part of hydrogen chloride and one part of nitric acid. So you mix this, you get aqua regia. And this is very, very strong. It can dissolve gold, platinum, for example, you have gold and you have this aqua regia. This has H plus, NO3 minus and Cl minus, right? It will dissolve this, you get AuCl4 minus and NO and what? Similarly, platinum also, the aqua regia can dissolve platinum too. So you get PvCl6 to minus NO plus water. This is the power of aqua regia. Okay. Now when we talk about the hydrogen uh, hydrochloric acid, that is my hydrogen chloride in water, it actually decomposes salts of weaker acids. For example, carbonates, hydrogen carbonates, sulfur. Example I can give you, for example, let me write the reaction here. For example, I have Na2CO3. Okay. This is my salt, carbonate salt. When you react with HCl, it will form NaCl, water and carbon dioxide. Or let's suppose you take hydrogen carbonate. So I have NaHCO3 salt. You again react with HCl. It will also form NaCl and water and carbon dioxide. If you talk about any sulfate, sulfides, Na2SO3 sulfide, when it reacts with HCl, it will form NaCl, water, and sulfur dioxide. So that's all property of hydrogen chloride. Please note hydrogen chloride and hydrochloric acid are two different things. Hydrogen chloride is gas, hydrochloric acid is aqueous hydrogen chloride, it is a liquid. If we talk about the uses, this hydrogen chloride is used to manufacture chlorine and we have talked about the uh, application of chlorine. It is also used to extract glue from bones. So from bones extract glue from bones and also it is used a lot in the medicines. The medicines use hydrogen chloride a lot. Take one numerical. When HCl hydrogen chloride reacts with finely powdered iron, it forms ferrous chloride, not ferric chloride. Why? See, when this, I told my, just now I told you that uh, the chlorine actually can convert my ferrous to ferric, right? But when you talk about the HCl, it reacts with the uh, HCl, the, the ferrous chloride, I mean the iron, sorry, we have the iron. Iron when react with HCl, it forms Fe2 plus only. Why not Fe3 plus? See, I'll tell you why. When iron react with HCl, it forms FeCl2 and it gives this hydrogen gas. So this hydrogen, this is plus 2. This hydrogen gas actually prevents further formation of FeCl3. This hydrogen gas prevents the further oxidation of ferrous. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.